Welcome back. We're looking at a map here of the islands. A topographical map which shows us the terrain. The goal of this map is to locate each of the domes, the rotating domes that contain the linking books on the islands. We will need to know their exact location later. Currently we're looking at Crater Island. Well, if you remember, the dome on Crater Island was actually underground, so you won't be able to see it uh, on the map, really. But we do see this hole here, which indicates where the dome is. Now you can see that Riven itself is a grid of 5x5, five five, and that each of the cells of the grid is also 5x5, five five, making Riven in total a grid of 25x25. 25 25. And we can write down the exact location of the dome. So now we know where the dome is for Crater Island, but we'll need to know the location of all of them. So let's go back here and push down another island. The water for Crater Island goes back down. Now the water for Dome Island comes back comes up. Okay. We go back here and show terrain for Dome Island. Oh, there's the dome. That's a big dome. We already knew that. And we have already located the rotating dome, the book dome, which is over here. So we don't really need to look at the rest of it. Okay, let's pick the next island. Well, this island is uh, the fifth island. This island has actually drifted so far away due to Riven's instability that you cannot see it anymore from any of the other islands. So no matter where you are in the game, you cannot see this island. We cannot get to this island either. Which uh, could prove problematic because we cannot find out what the symbol is of this island's dome. Before somebody thinks it's necessary to correct me, yes, I know we do get to this island. But we will only get to it after solving the dome puzzle. Okay. And once again, we have located the dome, which is in this grid. And now we'll select Map Island, which is this island. Personally, I think this transition between the islands takes just a little bit too long. I mean, there's many things in the, the, in the game that take a while, like rotating the room and taking the mag laughs. Uh, you can actually skip the videos. I choose not to. For the sake of this uh, f uh, Let's Play video. Okay, so this is Map Island, the island we're on right now. You can see that this is the, the map on the beginning of the island. Ah, and there we have located the dome. One more island, which is Village Island. 
Well, as I was saying, there are a number of things that take a while if you choose not to skip the videos. But none of them really take too long. This is the only one that does. It really is annoying to wait for the water to go down and the water of the other island to come up. Unfortunately, well, uh, actually fortunately, this is the last island we have to do. Also doesn't help that there's a few second delay between the video finishing and me actually being able to do anything. Okay, now this is a big island. So, locating the dome will be a bit uh, complicated. Except, of course, that I know where it is. And I'm going to cheat a little bit to save us some time. I'm looking at my old notes. And there is the dome. So now we have the location of all five domes. Very important to know that. We don't yet know exactly why we need to know that, but... Well, that hasn't stopped us before. So let's look around a little bit more here. This little lake here is actually a work tank. There is at least one work swimming around there, uh, around in it right now. I think there used to be more. I think there used to be as many as there are these totems. But right now there's only one. Apparently the work that's swimming down here has done some damage and has uh, thrown this thing out of alignment, which means that we can't see the symbol on the rotating dome. This isn't really a problem. We can just walk over here and it just so happens that this symbol is quite easy to see as it comes by. It is just a circle with a horizontal line in it. Now, now we know four of the five symbols. We have another uh, option here. Another thing we can do. Let's uh, stop the dome, open it up. Because now we have the code. Let's see if we can try that. As I was saying, we now have four of the five symbols, and those are all the symbols we're going to get. Unfortunately, there are six uh, colors, so we're going to have to guess one of them at some point. Not yet, though. Let's try and open this up. So, if I got it right, the code was 19, 18, come on, 14, 11, and 6. And look at that! The dome closed again, and now we can get at the book that's inside. That doesn't look like it's working. The gateway image is completely black. Well, we know from uh, Gans' journal that these books need to be powered. And apparently, Currently the power is off, so note by the way here the number 233 on the cover. So, because the books aren't powered right now, we can't use it, so we'll just go outside. It seems that we'll need to turn on the power somehow. And it is actually for that reason that we need to know these symbols and colors. Okay, that's everything we can do with the maps. Well, it 
seems we're running out of time again, so I'll continue in the next film.